Hello everyone, this is Pooja and Rishikesh Dwale. Um, we have done our project on information retrieval system for Android and Multi Tasset using Hadoop MapReduce. So, our uh, project makes use of this email data set uh, of the Android the Energy Company. This uh, data set uh, was generated and it consists of the entire email conversation uh, of the company. This company was faced with a huge scam and later all the conversation on you know, the email and all the documents were made public. So we make use of this email data set to conduct any fraud detection and um, this is done by generating a list of documents on the list right here, a uh, list of emails and um, the queries that I use are from the track legal track. Since there isn't any system available that makes use of and one email data set to generate a rank list. We decided to build our own system. And one email data set consists of around 59 users and it has a huge folder structure. It, it, uh, it has about 6 GB of, un it consists of about 6 GB of uncompressed data. We've used Hadoop map reduce to build this inverted index in Java. Since uh, Hadoop map just gives us the flexibility to work with huge data sets. Um, later we used Python to create the rank list once the inverted index was generated and finally we did evaluation using the track eval package. These are all the steps that we followed. We first generated inverted index using Hadoop MapReduce. The input given to the mapper function was the uh, the data set, uh, and the data set what we did was we flattened the data set, collapsed the data set. So uh, since it had like a folder structure into one folder consisting of all the uh, text files of all the emails, all the users. So this was given as the input of the map function and the, the output of the reducer function that comes after mapper was uh, the inverted index itself. So it consists of all the uh, documents listed. Later uh, we did query formulation. In query formulation we use all the queries that are present in the track, uh, track legal track, um, track learning track 2010 to be precise. Um, this has queries and topics. Uh, topics are around uh, seven topics from 201 to 207. We use two methods here uh, and later using these queries and the inverted index we created a rank list like I mentioned using Python. And then we normalize the rank list in a format that is acceptable uh, to run the evaluation using the track eval package. So this is what our inverted index looks like. It consists of term, document, here the email or name you can see. Uh, it's in the text format. It's offset position and the frequency. This was given input along with the queries. Like I mentioned queries had the entire uh, it has two parts, the entire topic as the query and then manually generated queries. So for example, this is a full topic uh, which is considered as a full query, the 202. So the entire uh, query was passed and we also created manually generated queries like FAS 140. Uh, so we created queries like those for all the topics. As finally, we created a rank list. The rank list was in format as a request ID. Request ID is nothing but the topic ID. Uh, Q, uh, Q0, it, uh, it's just a filler. It doesn't have any significant um, significance. Um, the doc ID is the email ID, uh, email chain or the document uh, retrieved. Rank is the sorted rank list uh, with relevant to the query. Um, and we have EC ESPT that is uh, the normalized, the output of the normalized function, the weights uh, in a particular format. And run ID is again 
um, a- any kind of a string and alphanumeric method just passed, uh, which was created for this. So the next part will be uh, covered by Rishikesh. Following other things that we learned from this project, uh, first we, we learned uh, using Hadoop MapReduce, uh, which is an open source implementation of MapReduce in Java, and we used this to build our inverted index. Uh, the rank list that we generated, we generated from using Python on the basis of TF IDF weights, which we calculated by using the query to search in the inverted index, which we generated from Hadoop MapReduce. Uh, the evaluation measures. Uh, according to the measures which were mentioned in the learning task of 2010 and 2011, there is no single measure which will give the ranking effectiveness and the probability of responsiveness. So therefore, we decided to use the following two measures, which is uh, for ranking effectiveness, we decided to use hypothetical F1 and area under ROC, which is the receiver operator characteristics. And uh, for ranking effectiveness and estimation accuracy, we decided of using actual F1. These measures that we will uh, get, uh, these are the measures that we will get after running track eval on run name and QRLs, which is the out, uh, from the output of track eval. Limitations and problems faced. Uh, the first uh, problems we faced was the complexity of dataset. Uh, the format in which the, which the dataset was available to us was a bit tricky and tedious to implement in uh, Hadoop MapReduce making us difficult to uh, code folder traversal. Then uh, second is the Java heap error that we got. When we were trying to put the collapsed folder to SGFS, we were getting the Java heap error and thus like uh, we got stuck over it for a longer period of time. Uh, the third thing is that uh, since we are working on a new technology, Hadoop MapReduce, it is totally new to us and that is why we, most of the time we have uh, spent on figuring out how to work around through it. Then uh, we generated uh, inverted is not the entire dataset but just a part of it, around 200 files that we uh, copied and put on the Hadoop server. Uh, we also generated the rank list on that part of the dataset and couldn't run into the entire dataset. We tried to run the uh, generated rank list on the evaluation tool based on the format which was available on the Trek website, but the do legal 10 learn file of the evaluation tool is not uh, properly available on the website and that is why we could not run the evaluation and could not get the actual result of it. The future work uh, which, we, uh, th which we are thinking to implement is that uh, the purpose of this project was mainly to implement information retrieval in order to find fraud detection. Nowadays, fraud, de fraud detection is uh, one of the most uh, one of the most uh, the outgoing things today, and uh, the future work also includes like improving the code to make the retrieval efficient. Uh, So we conclude our video by saying that, that if we had sufficient amount of time, we could have implemented some more. Uh, we could have completed the inverted index on the entire data set. We had generated the rank list and we could have figured out some way to uh, run the evaluations. And uh, we could have also done whatever we had mentioned in the future work. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the